Hey, how are you all this morning? Headed out. I'm gonna try to go over here to the farmer's market over here in New Albany, where I live at, and uh, see if they got some seeded watermelons. I'm trying to get over early so I can get some because they usually the first to go. It is that time of year that you can get them local now. And I would suggest you get the seeded watermelons local. But get the seeded any way you can, anywhere you can. They do have some in some grocery stores. So you have to check and see. You know, I, I found them in a Walmart, believe it or not. Uh, Kroger. Myers. So you got to periodic, periodically check and see where they are. Maybe call the grocery so you won't go all the way out there. And then I have one, you know, so maybe call, you know, get a hold of the produce people and ask them. And then let's bug these people. Let's let's bug them, you know, and say, hey, we want to see the watermelons in our store. Do that all the time. Help me out. Because if it's one man asking, you're just bothering them. But if it's a whole heap of people, then it's a demand. Right? Also, I was watching. Also, uh, uh, oh, before I get to that, there are also Canlo, Honeydew. Papayas, which is really good. And the papaya seeds are very bitter, but they, guess what? They kill parasites. I know I always talk about that, but that, and the reason why I always talk about that is because parasites can cause a lot of problems in the body. All right, mangoes. And this is for people who don't have any sugar issues. But if you have sugar issues, you need to change your lifestyle, in my opinion. And that's a story for another time. I think I already touched on that. Also, let me let me let me uh say this too. I was listening to a guy who a lot of times I get information from. Um his take his name is KT to the arch degree. Look him up. And I just watched a video and he said, and he, and he had things to back it up. This is what he said. And I listened to him, you know, I've been listening to him for years and you know, I really like this brother and he scientifically break things down. I don't scientifically break things down because the, you, you can fall asleep. You know, most people fall asleep. They don't want to hear it. And it gets too technical. But I can understand what he's saying. And um, so I, I, in some instances, I come to you all with it. And I just talk about it, not in a scientific term. Not to say anybody's less or anything like that. It's just that it just gets too complicated. And you lose people. Believe me, I get it. But he was talking about uh, in his studies and the test for herpes, it turns out one in two people, one in two people. So if two people got diagnosed with herpes and they got a positive test, one of those people is misdiagnosed. So let's say a thousand people went in and got diagnosed for herpes. Five hundred of them could have got mig that misdiagnosed and didn't have it. Five hundred people. One in two test positive for herpes, and and they don't have it. For real, it's a misdiagnosis of these tests. We these tests. A lot of times, and I, let me give a disclaimer, I'm not a doctor, not trying to be one, not a scientist, not trying to be one, but I got a degree 
in common sense. And the fact that I've been doing this for over 15 years. Now, me listening to that and, 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 and looking looking the, at the uh, evidence that he had and me trusting him, even though he looked like me, I trust him and his science. And it was just, and he had articles and it was real. So, these tests that they give us, I, I don't know who says they money every single time. And every single time they write. You can get a, a misdiagnosis all the time from these tests. You know, different tests too. Now, I'm gonna go on record and say I'm not going. I'm not gonna sit here and say don't do it. But I am gonna say we need to get second, third, or even fourth opinions, especially if it's some serious. And like he said, fifty percent of the people didn't have it who were diagnosed positive didn't even have it. And then, after you diagnose her, come to worry. You don't have no symptoms. You just, they just said in this test that you had it. It's viral. And see, man, if you study viruses, one day a virus will show up in your blood, and the next day it couldn't. Anyway, somebody who's misdiagnosed. Number one, the, the stress that can can uh, start, you know, you put it on your mind. It becomes stressful because you you think you you think you something's getting ready to happen. You know, I don't know, but you know, it's 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 a virus. You want to survive? Believe me, you want to survive. Uh, I hope we enter 2022 and we know that although nobody wants herpes, if you do, if you are diagnosed with it, it's things you can do. And to, you know, it's not, don't worry about it, okay? Don't worry about it. Because one thing, stress causes outbreaks. And another thing, you're diagnosed and you never had any symptoms. You diagnose that you do have it, and you never had any symptoms. And then you worry, 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 stress, 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 and whether that does in the immune system, whether they do on the body. Man, I tell you. I'm not letting anybody diagnose me with anything. Now, I don't. I'm not saying it's for the general public because sometimes you all got to know what what's up because you don't study the body like I do. And you think you have to go through some kind of schooling for all these years to be able to understand, understand the body. Now, it does help. It is helpful. And you do have professionals out there. And I'm not saying don't go to them. But what I'm saying is for general, you can find out how viruses work and, and it's just, it, it, it amazes me that we still haven't figured this thing out or you know made an attempt to go on our own and study this and, and quit letting the TV tell us every day on thing so one in two people misdiagnosed now comes you may be put on medication and you, and you don't even have it you was misdiagnosed so they you put on medication and then you got to find out in my opinion the side effects what it could do to you i'm just generally telling you just find out what the side, side find out what the side effects is. I'm not saying don't, okay? 
I'm just saying you need to take better control of your health and not all the time something's told to you that's true. And wouldn't it be a darn shame if you was diagnosed with that and you didn't have it and then you had to go through all this? Some of us get tested for everything, everything. And we just test it one time and we think we got it. You don't even go somewhere else and get a second opinion. Man, it just sounds like I'm busting all the time, but I, you know, I, I don't, you know, I, I don't, I don't want to bust. I just care. So I'm not going to make this video too long, but this is my spiel for today. And if you really, really, really know, want to know and find out who he is and he breaks things down scientifically, I mean, he's a bad dude. And I know many others. Patrick Dales breaks it down. So, yeah. Everything is not a disaster. Everything is not the end of the world. And this just proves you diagnosed with something and half of them didn't even have it. All I can do is shake my head. I promise you. Okay, so I'm going over here to give me some seeded watermelon, fresh fruits and vegetables, have a clean mindset. That's all I can do is to protect myself. You know, keep my immune system boosted. And it's not, that's not spoken enough on these airways. Boost your immune system. Stop worrying. And half your problems will probably go away. A better diet. Only drink water. Probably a lot of the issues just with that will probably go away. And get some nutrition through herbals vitamins it's just the way of nature nature's calling us back home all right have a good day